Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the TPO um, charts for Motive Wave and or the volume profi profiles per day. So first thing we're going to do, um, which I've already done, is you can click the settings cog and remove the volume. If you like the volume for these bars, you can keep them. And then we're going to go up here to study, go to volume based and go to time price opportunity. So I'm going to just click, click create so you can see what it looks like by default. So by default, it's only showing three. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into the settings and go to number of TPOs and click show all. Um, what this is going to do is this is going to make it show um, all profiles. So it's not just going to show three. And obviously we want the time frame to just be a day. Um, for display, depending on how you view profiles, I tend to only view the regular trading hour profiles, so the overnight I want gone. If you want both the overnight and the RTH, you can click here, and that will split them, and then you can obviously change the color here as well. So you can make one of them gray, one of them blue. Um, I'm just going to unclick that, and I'm going to go to general and click RTH data only. So whether I have this clicked or not, it's not gonna matter since I have RTH only. Uh, I'm just going to unclick it as well. Um, next thing you can see is we can um, add here is single prints. So you can add uh, these areas for single prints. Um, if you look at single prints, this can be pretty helpful. Same thing with naked point of controls. Um, you can add those as well. Um, for now, I'm going to unclick that. I'm going to use the single prints and you also the high and the low, since I like to look at the high and the low um, of these sessions. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the value area. We're obviously going to want to show the value area since that's a lot of what we look at. And I am going to leave it like this for the most part. Um, it's going to highlight the value area. Um, you can make it just show the lines or just show the fill. All just depends on your personal preference, but I like it um, like this. And then I'm going to go to volume profile, click show profile. And by default, it's going to separate the bid and the ask colors. So I'm going to go to here to show bid volume, ask volume, and uncheck that because I don't care to see that. I just want to see more so the shape of the profile there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show value area. And I'm going to remove the range lines and the range fill. So if we have these enabled, you can see it's going to pretty much duplicate what we have on the TPO for the most part because oftentimes they're going to be the same or similar. So I mainly focus actually on TPO levels, so I'm going to uncheck those. If you mainly focus on volume profile levels, you can enable these and disable the um, TPO lines and range fill. So that is pretty much it for the most part. I don't look at initial balance, so I'm going to go to RBR, unclick this opening range as well. I'm going to unclick click apply and click update. Um, and then the next thing is depending on um, how you like it, I actually like to just have a chart with just the profiles and no bars. So what you can do is go up here and go to no bars here. That way we just have the profile. Um, so when we want to merge or do anything with the profiles, we can um, do that here. So if like we want to merge a profile, we can right click and merge. Uh, that wouldn't be one I would merge, but um, that way we just have these profiles. We have the high and the low, and then we have this um, value area highlighted. We have the open and close markers as well. So that's pretty much it for setting up a TPO chart.